Hello friends, next Tuesday at seven o'clock is our annual parochial church meeting and I just wanted to record a short uh, video just to invite you, to encourage you to be there. It's going to be online again this year. Now I know that's frustrating for some of you, much preferring, as I do, uh, the spontaneity and the opportunity for discussion that in-person meetings provide in a different way from those online. But uh, we took the decision that at this stage, and given the shortness of the year that we met in November, of course, last year for the last one, it made sense for this meeting, uh, albeit not as we would wish, to be online. Now, I record this also both to publicise that and you can find information about it on our website, but also to encourage you if you are wondering how you might serve the church here in Whitkirk and Colton, whether you might consider being on the Parochial Church Council, the PCC. You've perhaps heard it talked about before. Now, it's a body of people responsible with me and the church wardens for the running of the parish, the day-to-day -day, uh, running of the parish. And we have various choices to make as we go through a year. We set the agenda in a way for what kind of church we are going to be. And we have to manage the facilities that we've got. We have uh, stewardship, we have to think about giving, we have to think about uh, how we, as I say, manage the buildings, the facilities that we have to, uh, for the good of all, really as well as the ongoing worship and mission of the church, which, of course, is why uh, we are here. So I wonder if you might consider uh, offering yourself, or at the very least, having a conversation uh, with those who you know serve on the PCC, or with me, about whether that might be something uh, for you. And then the second thing, we also need a church warden. Now, it's one of those roles that uh, tends to, in people's mind, think, church warden, no, I couldn't possibly do that. And my experience is, over the last however many years it is since I've been ordained, is that every single person exercises the office of church warden slightly differently. So whilst there are some legal requirements to be fulfilled, um, everyone should do it differently. And there are no rights or wrongs within it, um, particularly, although of course there are, but no particular rights and wrongs about how you exercise the office. But it's a really valuable office and I've been richly blessed over my time here so far to have had Sheila, to have had Alistair, to have had Dave, to have had James, to have had Melvin just since November, and now we're looking for another church warden. Um, I've had one or two conversations with folk who at this stage don't feel it's for them. Uh, but then I stepped back and said, well, I do talk about trusting in the Holy Spirit. Perhaps now is a good moment to do that and actually to trust. Now, if that means we carry a vacancy for a church warden or indeed the PCC and beyond, I'm happy with that. I think we've been through some extraordinary times and we have some incredibly able people, thank God, here who don't necessarily want to wear the hat of church warden, but will pick up some of those responsibilities. But at some point, we do need to fill that role. And it's important we do, because it's part of the leadership team, part of setting the tone for the kind of church that we want to be here at St Mary's. So perhaps this is an opportunity for you to prayerfully consider and then have a conversation with me uh, before Tuesday, if it was going to be then, but at some point, we can always find a way to um, make sure a church warden is uh, elected at another point. These extraordinary meetings can happen. But it seems right to have at least put that appeal out there, both for PCC members and also for a church warden. So, sisters and brothers, we are going through still some extraordinary times. I thank you for your patience, your understanding, your prayers, your generosity. We need them still, and I hope you'll continue to offer all of those things as we emerge from the pandemic that we are still in the midst of uh, and become that wonderful church community uh, in person that we also value, where all find a welcome and are nurtured in their journey with Christ. So God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. 
and hope to see you soon.